At number eight, we have Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin has discussed his childhood growing up and his relationship with his father, and it's heartbreaking to hear. When the former child star sat down with Mark Marin on an episode of his WTF podcast, Macaulay would go on to discuss the relationship he has with his estranged father, Kit. He would say that his relationship was physically and mentally draining, and because his father was his manager when he was younger, he would have to travel with his son to auditions and film sets. Despite the pair working relationship, they were never close. Macaulay would then say he goes all around the world locked in a room with a man who didn't like him. Macaulay's father even went as far to scare him into not using cue cards on SNL, and Kit also tried to use his power as his son's manager to gain creative control over his son's films, which would soon prompt Macaulay to depart from acting at the age of 14. Macaulay also had to erase both his parents off of his bank account just so they would stop eating away at his giant fortune that he earned as a child actor. So it's no wonder why he cut his dad off. Sliding into number seven is Drew Barrymore. You would never know the struggle she faced in her childhood based off her successful career and always beaming smile. But her childhood was so dark and twisted that she was put into an institution at just 13 years old. When she was just 11 months old, she first appeared in a commercial and then booked the role in ET at age seven. Her parents struggled with their own addiction problems and Drew picked up the habits on her own at a very young age. She revealed that she started pouring liquor over her ice cream when she was just seven years old and got drunk for the first time at Rob Lowe's birthday party when she was just nine years old, all under the guidance of her mother. She went out partying with her mother up to five times a week and at age 12 began trying illegal substances. She was fighting a drug and alcohol addiction by the time she was 13 and had undergone rehabilitation treatment for 18 months. Her father left her and just stopped being a part of her life and when she got out of treatment, she filed for emancipation from her mom so she was living on her own at 14 years old. As she got older, she worked at a local cafe and just continued to pursue acting. In spot number six, we have Lindsay Lohan. Her childhood was spent in front of the cameras as her family had close connections to the show business when her personal career started out. Fans have seen Lindsay's personal struggles in her adult life, like her DUIs and time in jail, but many have wondered if her childhood played a part in any of that. She did have struggles in her family. Her dad was married to her mom for 22 years but filed for divorce in 2007. He struggled with alcohol and substance addiction for many years, even appearing on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. His struggles were also legal issues. He served three years in prison from 1990 to 1993, another year in 1997, and two and a half years in 2004. Her mom struggled too. She was also arrested and charged with a DUI of her own. In more recent times, Lindsay's dad was back in jail in April 2021 for new charges, and her mom was charged on May 4th, 2021 on felony drunk driving. Happy through our list at number five is Brandon Thomas Lee. At first thought, it might be pretty cool to have your parents be Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, but apparently it wasn't all glitz and glam like some of us might have thought. Brandon and his brother Dylan have talked about growing up in a very difficult childhood life. For one, having their mom as the biggest sex symbol in the world was a struggle, as we can imagine. But Brandon revealed that things between his parents were very toxic. The two of them got into physical altercations, and the kids were always in childcare, not being raised by the parents full time. Pamela ended up sending Brandon and Dylan to a boarding school in Canada, so they were separated for a while. As the boys grew older, they did find their way back to mend things with their mom, but in 2018, when Brandon was 24, he got into a physical altercation with his dad and actually knocked him out. Fans see Brandon talk about his relationship with his parents on the hills as he was added as a new cast member in the reboot series. Cruising into spot number four is Meatloaf. The singer has revealed a lot about his troublesome childhood during interviews and says there are so many things that he has blocked out as a way to cope with it all. He revealed his dad was an alcoholic who would disappear for a few days at a time and said he was physically towards him. As for his mom, she was sick with breast cancer for so long that he didn't have a normal relationship with her and she sadly passed away when he was just 18. He admitted that it took him 10 years to deal with her death because he had actually run away to California to hide from the pain and her last words to him were, where were you? The struggle still stays with him to this day, but he says he's blacked out most of his childhood memories, but admits that a psychologist would probably help him deal with it better. And number three, Trey. 
Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan hasn't seen his mom for 21 years. For years, Tracy's mom and sister have been bad mouthing him to the media for refusing to help save his mother's home from foreclosure. Tracy became extremely saddened by the untrue stories and he began to grow tired of people questioning his commitment to his family. In an interview with ABC News, Tracy went on to state that the reasons they aren't talking are between them and that he hasn't seen his mother in 11 years outside of a random call here and there. And he's had little to no contact with his sister. Tracy was also helping his mother pay for the mortgage after she lost her job. However, after his mom and sister started talking to the media, Tracy would ultimately change his mind. And number two, we have Frances Bean Cobain. Now, Frances Bean Cobain didn't officially cut off her mother. However, she did have a restraining order in place. Since Frances was a minor at the time, the allegations would remain sealed. However, that didn't stop tabloids from running story about what truly happened. The Daily Mail would claim that Frances took exception to Courtney Love's alleged substance use and that they even cited some of Frances' testimony. Frances would say that her mom rarely ate and she would often fall asleep with lit cigarettes in her mouth and how she was afraid something bad would happen under the care of her mother. It was also then claimed that Courtney's actions led to the passing of two family pets and this would leave her daughter to file for the restraining order so that her grandmother and aunt could be temporary guardians so she could get away. And at number one today, we have Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler didn't even know Steven Tyler was her father until she was 11 years old. Until that point, she believed that Todd Rudgren was her biological father. While Todd always knew there was a chance he wasn't Liv's father, he signed the birth certificate and gave her his last name and stepped in to raise her as his own. When Liv met Steven when she was eight years old at one of Todd's concerts, she fell madly in love with him and would even go on to buy posters and talk to them. While Todd knew her father's true identity, he decided to keep it a secret due to Steven's reported substance use. In 2009, Liv would say that in the past few years, we haven't been very close. He's also been going through some things on his own and he hasn't been around that much for us. So that's been hard, but I probably shouldn't be talking about this. I wish he was around more to know Milo more, but he has to go through what he goes through. Beginning our list at number 10 is Nicki Minaj. The singer has been said to have found her set of wings within a broken nest. In other words, she came from a troubled childhood. In 2010, she revealed that her father was an aggressive substance addict who subjected herself and her mother to neglect theft, and even arson. She spoke candidly with Vibe magazine and said, When you have a father who is stealing your furniture and selling it so that he can buy crap, you suffer. You come home from school and your couch is gone. You're like, what happened? Nikki was actually born in Trinidad but moved to New York at just the age of five. She revealed that she lived in constant fear when she was young, worried that her father would end the life of her mother. But her father did get the help that he needed later in life and checked into rehab and started going to church. Sadly, he was struck by a vehicle earlier this year and passed away. Nikki has said that it has been the most devastating loss of her life. That's so sad. Up next, number nine, we have 50 Cent. Before he became one of the biggest rappers in the world, he grew up in a very broken home. His real name is actually Curtis Jackson, for anyone who has ever wondered but been too lazy to Google it. His father abandoned his family when he was born, and his mom was a substance dealer when he was very young. Sadly, his mother passed away when he was just eight years old, so he was sent to live with his grandma. While his grandma did care for him the best that she could, Curtis seemed to follow down his mother's footsteps and went down a dark path with substances. He was arrested when he was just 18 for possession of a weapon at his high school. Even as his life and career progressed, he still struggled to break away from substances. It wasn't until his son came into the world where he made changes in his life. In 2005, he told People Magazine, I quote, My priorities changed. My son is the reason I stopped doing the things my mother was doing. I didn't even know he had a kid, to be honest. Swiping our number 8 spot is Christina Aguilera. Many people don't know the dark side of her past and that's because she always puts on a very strong face. Even in her music, she came across as a very strong independent woman. But in a candid discussion with E! News, fans got to learn a lot more about her personal life and where she came from. During her interview, she revealed that when she was a child, she felt completely powerless against her father, who was very aggressive and violent. She admitted that she turned to singing as an outlet for that. Christina 
Christina's mother, Shelly, once remembered a very terrifying incident when she found Christina at just four years old with her face all bruised up. Turns out her father was napping and she apparently made too much noise. Her mom eventually left him and took her and her sisters to live with their grandmother so that they could be safe. To this day, Christina says the pain that she felt at home is actually where her love for music came from. And number six, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan's relationship with her father, Michael, is rocky at best, and the two often go years without speaking to each other. Lindsay's rocky relationship with her father dates all the way back to when the actor was a child when Michael began to struggle with substances. Lindsay has once even said that her father put herself and her family through hell following a stint of verbal altercations. In 2012, Lindsay would call her father following an argument with her mom and her dad would later sell this phone call to the press Which would result in Lindsay to fully cut off her dad by 2016 after she became so fed up with her father spreading rumors about her in the tabloids I mean considering her father also posted her number online for everybody to see I don't blame the star's decision to keep her father out of her life from time to time and number five We have Emma Roberts not too long after Emma was born her father Eric Roberts abandoned her leaving the star to grow up with her mother in Los Angeles. While Emma's parents would become enemies following their split, even Eric's sister, Julia Roberts, would be against his custody of Emma, and she would even help Emma's mother gain custody of the star. Years later, it would be revealed that Eric was struggling with substances, and that's why his sister didn't support him having Emma during the bitter battle. Despite following her father's footsteps, Emma isn't on best terms with her father, and rather being a father to his own child, he became a stepdad to Keaton and Morgan Simmons. Emma's mom took on the role of a mom and dad, so with her father being absent at most events and taking credit for her career, it only makes sense why the star chooses to hush her father out. And number four, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie's estrangement from her father, Papa John Voight, was finally finalized in 2002 when she legally dropped Voight from her last name. Angelina ultimately decided to petition her last name to be changed just a month before her father's interview with Access Hollywood. During the interview, he would go on to complain that she hadn't let him see his grandchild and he pleaded for her to get help for specific mental problems. Angelina, who co-starred in the movie Tomb Raider with her father, would respond in the statement by saying, I don't want to make public the reason for my bad relationship with my father. After all these years, I have determined that it's it's not healthy for me to be around my father, especially now that I'm responsible for my own child. Taking over our third spot is Kelsey Grammer. Fans of Frasier would never know the layers of trauma he went through in the early years of his life. His character, Frasier Crane, made people laugh for years, but he has a very dark past that many people don't know about. He has been open about his life experiences though and opened up about the time when he was just 13 years old and he lost his father in front of his house. The life of his father was actually taken by a cab driver right in their front yard after luring him outside by lighting their family car on fire. Apparently there was no connection between the cab driver and his dad. That was just the start of his losses though. He actually lost his sister when her life was taken at just 20 years old. He says that the guilt of that tragedy nearly destroyed him. Then, just a few years later, his two half-brothers passed away in a scuba diving accident involving a potential shark attack. And then, not long after that, one of his best friends lost his life in the 9-11 attack. He has faced tremendous amount of loss in his life, which played a huge part in his alcohol addiction. Thankfully though, as years went on, he has been able to get sober and eventually, he just left his pain in the past and was able to move forward. He lost everyone. Like, I can't even imagine his dad, his sister, his two brothers, a best friend. Moving on to number two, we have Oprah Winfrey. Because she has spent her career smiling and helping other people through their own struggles, many people are shocked to know that she went through her own. She had anything but an ideal upbringing and began suffering from at a very young age. She suffered through this trauma by multiple relatives and turned to substances in order to cope with things. When she was just 14 years old, she was sent to live with her father and discovered that she was pregnant at 14. Sadly, the baby boy was born two months premature and did not make it past two weeks. Oprah has talked about how she felt very betrayed by a family member who sold the story of her son to the National Enquirer in 1990. But in more recent years, she has openly talked about her son and said that she finally gave him a name which was Canaan because it means new land, new life. 
We have made it to number one and we have Jim Carrey. This one always hits closer to home for me personally because the legendary actor actually grew up right here in Ontario and to see how far he has come is honestly mind blowing. He came from a good family but things got difficult for them when his father lost his job when he was just 12 years old and then Jim had to kind of step up and be like that father figure in a sense. Jim has talked about being homeless and how much they struggled to even get by. He revealed that their family lived in a van for a while and they all had to work together as security guards and janitors just to try and make ends meet. The actor said he had to work a 40 hour work week while being a young teenager just to try and keep his family off the streets. One thing that helped him progress was that he started booking comedy gigs in Toronto at local comedy clubs to make some extra money. So to go from being homeless booking gigs at small venues to one of the biggest comedic actors in the world is pretty crazy and inspiring. I actually just found out he's from Ontario like two years ago. At number 10, we have Kate Hudson. Since Kate Hudson was a child, her father hasn't been a part of her life. In 2021, Kate sat down for an interview with Today, and during the interview, she told them that she was no longer speaking to her father due to an issue that started 41 years ago. She went on to state, I think estrangement is unfortunately quite common, and I think it's important for people to talk about that. If they can't reconnect, or if it's too challenging, that's okay, right? She then went on to add that she has a stepfather who stepped in and played a huge part in showing her what it is to have a dependable father figure, but that didn't take away from the fact that she never knew her real dad. While Kate has chosen to forgive in her father, she understands that him not being a part of her life has probably been very painful for him, and he's just going to have to live with that pain. And number nine, we have Heather Graham. Heather was raised by a Catholic family, with her father working in the FBI and her mother being a school teacher. At one point, Heather's life, they threatened to send her off to be become a nun so she would behave better. After leaving high school, Heather would eventually stop speaking to her parents. As the star didn't care to dwell on the estrangement, she has declined to talk about her mother and dad as she's worried her words might be misconstructed. In 2013, the actor's mom and dad did allegedly tell the son that they never pressured their daughter to become a nun and they didn't understand the reason between their rift. Up until Heather started the film Boogie Nights, her parents did recall them having a happy and close relationship and when the film came out, it destroyed their relationship. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Cruising in number six is Ashley Judd. Her on-screen presence would never show that she has been through some traumatic experiences in her childhood, but fans got to learn all about them in her memoir. In 2011, she wrote a memoir called All That Is Bitter and Sweet and revealed shocking details of the neglect of and exposure to substances that she faced when she was younger. Because of how traumatic her life was growing up, she admitted to being severely depressed throughout her life. She said that she was neglected during her mother's rise to fame as a country superstar, which most people might think would be really cool to have a parent gaining fame as a musician. But it was actually the opposite for Ashley and she was happy to finally share it with the world. When talking about sharing all these very disturbing details to the public, she said, the shame and the keeping ourselves sick through secretive is one of the things we all need to have the courage to undo. Halfway through our list at number five is Dylan McDermott. You know those unsolved true crime murder mystery shows that everyone binge watches? And by everyone, I mean me. Well, his life was actually one of them. When he was just five years old, someone took the life of his mother, who was just 20 years old at the time. The horrific crime was labeled accidental at the time, but still remained as an unsolved mystery for the next four decades of his life. His father was in jail at the time of the incident, so Dylan and his infant sister were sent to live with his grandmother before being adopted by his stepmom. Dylan wasn't an eyewitness to the crime, but he did hear shots being fired. In 2011, he took matters into his own hands to get the case reopened for investigation and confirmed that it was one of the suspects. Fingers pointed to her boyfriend at the time, who was known for being violent and addicted to substances. However, the suspect was deceased before being officially accused of the crime. Up next, number four, we have have Missy Elliott. Fans learned a lot about Missy during her feature on Behind the Music, but they never expected to hear about how much she suffered in her upbringing. She revealed disturbing details about how she was 
assaulted by one of her cousins for the course of a year, too young to really understand what was happening at the time. She also admitted that later down the road, she had to experience extreme poverty, which is just a testament to how far she's come having this wildly successful musical career. When it comes to her parents, she revealed that she had to witness some very terrible things growing up as her father would have her mother right in front of her. There was one specific incident she remembers from her childhood where her father had threatened to end her mother's life and her uncle, who lived next door, actually had to come and step in and end the argument because it escalated and got very dangerous. So to say that she's come a long way would honestly be an understatement. At number 3 today we have Meghan Markle. When Meghan Markle finally joined the royal family, the tabloids constantly started to pursue the actor on everything she did. Sadly, when Meghan was hoping she could run away to her family, they would also take it upon themselves to make regular comments about her and sell stories to the press. Even Meghan's father has been highly outspoken about Meghan criticizing her from stepping down from her royal duties to even wanting to take legal actions just so he could see Meghan's two children. However, Meghan's relationship would really start to strain from her father when he was caught staging photos with the paparazzi before his daughter married Prince Harry. Meghan has urged her family not to discuss her relationships with Harry with the press. She's even said she looks at her own children and she couldn't imagine doing anything intentionally to cause them pain. So that's why it's so hard for her to reconcile with her family. And number two, Bryce Hall. TikTok star Bryce Hall expressed his desire to become a better person after he got in a bit of trouble with the law after spending a day in prison. It convinced him to become a better person. Bryce has also said that he thought a lot about his father and how he was never around. He knew his father was mean and irresponsible. However, he still did want a relationship with him. He would then add that his father spent some time behind bars for not paying child support as Bryce was spending his time behind the bars waiting to be released. He recalled it made him feel just like his father and that he found the whole experience mortifying and shameful. Bryce has been pretty vocal about how he truly feels about his father and how his mom raised him with love and care and it helped him become the man he is today. And at number one today we have Brie Larson. Brie Larson has been estranged from her father for years now. In an interview with Elle magazine in 2016, Brie would go on to say that when she legally didn't have to have any visitations with her father anymore, she jumped on it. As a kid, Brie tried to understand her father in the whole situation, however she found that her father wasn't doing himself any favors. She then felt like he never really wanted to be a parent and that put a lot of strain on their relationship. Back in 2015, her father acted like they were close and that he really supported his daughter after Brie won a Golden Globe for her best actress. Her father then went on to say that he was really proud of his daughter and that it was a little surreal, but now it seemed inedible. Starting off our list at number 10, we have Leighton Meester. This one is by far one of the craziest celebrity birth stories I have ever heard. In 1986, Leighton's mom was in prison after being arrested for smuggling illegal substances out of Jamaica. Turns out she was serving her time when she was pregnant with Leighton and still had 16 months left of her sentence, which means that Leighton was born in jail. She wasn't physically born inside a jail cell, her mother was actually transferred to the hospital for the birth. The now Hollywood actress spent the first few months of her life in a halfway house before eventually being placed in custody of her grandmother until her mom's release. After being back in the care of her parents, they got divorced and faced a ton of financial struggle. But despite all the negative things in her childhood, Leighton does not hold it against her parents. In all her interviews, she says that they are good parents and she has a lot of good childhood memories. Moving on to number 9, we have Eminem. The rapper has always been very open and honest about the dysfunctional childhood he had, which was filled with abuse and poverty. He describes his childhood as the scraping the bottom of the barrel kind of life after his parents didn't have a home and just dragged him around the Midwest, staying in different motels. His father, Bruce Mathers, deserted him and his mom when he was just a baby. As for his mom, Debbie Mathers, she was in and out of his life throughout the remainder of his childhood. She also had another son with another man and at one point left Eminem with his great aunt and uncle who just did their best to raise him. But even when he was in the care of his mother, he says that she was very towards him. He eventually went through school but got bullied so bad physically that he was in a coma for a few days. That experience later turned into his 1999 song called Brain Damage, if you've ever wondered. When he was just 17 years old, he dropped out of school and went on to chase his dream of a rapper and the rest is pretty much history. But you should watch 8 Mile if you don't know how that happened. Up next, number 8, we have Soon Yi. 
Her life became one of the biggest controversies in 2020 after her relationship with her adoptive father became a lawsuit. She was born in South Korea around 1970 and actually has no birth certificate. Her approximate age was determined by bone scans. In 1976, she was found living on the streets, eating out of dumpsters before being adopted by Mia Farrow and Woody Allen, who had huge careers in Hollywood. Years down the road, when Soon Yi was in high school, Mia found inappropriate nude photos of her in her husband's home. The truth was later revealed that the two of them actually had an ongoing romantic relationship with each other and that continued on to present day. They are now married to each other despite being father and daughter through adoption papers. Soon Yi is now 50 years old and Woody is 85. This strange relationship opened up a lot of other secrets in the family, with one of his other daughters claiming that he also did inappropriate things with her when she was a child. As of right now, the lawsuits he is facing are still unsettled. At number 7 we have Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato is somewhat of an open book as the star is never scared to shy away from admitting her struggles and experiences. In a video discussing her father in her 2015 album Confident, Demi did admit that she had a lot of mixed feelings when it came to the passing of her father. The star felt very conflicted because her father was known to be pretty mean. However, while he was mean from time to time, he also wanted to be a good person Person, and he wanted to have his family. When her parents divorced and her mom finally didn't marry her stepdad, he still ended up having a huge heart and would say, I'm glad that the stepdad was taking care of her and he's glad that her stepfather was doing the job he could never do. At number six, we have Adele. Since Adele's father abandoned her mother when she was a child, Adele has had a pretty strained relationship with her father. With the hopes of one day reconnecting, things would soon turn sour after her father spoke about Adele to the British press. The singer would later tell Vogue, I was actually starting to have a relationship with him and then he effing blew it. He will never hear from me again, however, Adele would later have a change of heart just before her father's passing. After the two met up and they got their peace out, her and her father were finally able to put old things aside and he was able to become a proper granddad and have the chance to meet Adele's son, Angelo. At number 5 we have Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston became estranged from her mother at a young age after witnessing the dissolution of her parents' marriage. After her parents divorced, Jennifer's mother Mother would become an emotionally draining figure. Her mother would then go on to say things like, honey, take care of yourself better or honey, put your face on. And that's all Jennifer could recall of her mother during her childhood. Eventually, Jennifer and her mom would drift apart. However, after Jennifer matured, she came to the realization that her mom was just trying her best and was simply just trying to be her best. Jennifer realized that her mom was only saying those things because she really loved her. Jennifer understood that the times were also different when her mother was growing up and her mother just simply missed what was actually important because she was holding on and doing the best she could. At number 4 we have Ariel Winter. Since starring in Modern Family, Ariel quickly rose to fame. However, her on-screen life was definitely clearly nothing like her off-screen life. In an interview with Hollywood Reporter in 2017, Ariel would share details about her life as a young actor and how she entered into the spotlight because of her mom. Ariel would explain that it was more just her mom pushing her to take on roles. However, her mom would also force her to dress in revealing clothing and to follow a strict diet at a young age when the actor was 14. She would take her mother to court and her sister Chanel Gray would become her guardian in 2014. By 2015, Ariel would finally be emancipated before turning 18. The actor would then tell Ellen that it was an emotional time for her because it was better for her to be on her own and to have a safer household and support system. Rolling into the number 2 spot, we have Britney Spears. Her tense relationship with her father has made worldwide news after people found out that he had total control over her life and finances legally and refused to give them back to her. Her father, Jamie Spears, was put under her conservatorship following her public breakdown in 2008 after she was proven to not properly be able to care or manage herself during her mental health struggles. That was over a decade ago though and people cannot understand how he still has access since she seemed to turn her life back around. Brittany has has been asking the judge to permanently remove him from her conservatorship, revealing that the two of them have never had a good relationship and that he is not doing it with her best interests in mind. The hashtag Free Britney started in 2020 as the world is now petitioning for her to 
get the rights back to her conservatorship, which is actually split into two parts. One for her estate and financial affairs, and the other for her as a person. Her father still has control of both. We've made it to number one, and we have Charlize Theron. Not many people know about her traumatic childhood, but she shared it with the world and left people completely shocked. She grew up in a farm in South Africa, and at age 13, she wanted to continue her ballet studies, so she began attending a boarding school that specializes in the arts. During a visit home when she was just 15 years old, her mother shot and took the life of her father in an act of self defense. Turns out he was drunk and began shooting at her and then threatened to harm the children as well, so she started to shoot back. Charlize says she survived the incident, which she's very proud of, and also thanks her mom for quite literally saving her life. 